good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be discussing what is coming up this week. Now, if you guys did not know, Ringside Collectibles has posted where you can get all your figures for, you know, 10% off using promo code MDTOYS, but that's besides the point. Ringside did post up on their Instagram just this past week, guys. I think it was a couple days ago. I meant to post a video then, but we are here live now. I figured good Sunday afternoon is a great way to spend with some figure news and some figure, you know, analysis as we come into this upcoming week. I felt like a dead gum sports broadcaster back here with my pen in my hand ready to go but ringside posted this up guys and ringside fest at home is coming to us if you guys didn't know what ringside fest is it is usually where ringside collectibles partners up and they showcase what new figures we're going to be getting they usually show off three or four series and then we'll get some basic images and we'll get some figures on display and stuff and it's usually held up in new york city i think it's usually at Times square and they'll have a big event and they'll have superstars come do autographs and they show off the figures in person and people can come in and look at the figures and all of that good stuff but this year with everything going on of course another thing ruined added to the list here as we're going to be experiencing it from home just like San Diego Comic Con so today I'm going to be discussing what figures we should be seeing now my bro unstable 1047 you guys can check out his channel link in the description I think he made a video on this yesterday so I do want to give a huge shout out to him for uh, giving me the inspiration behind this I wanted to give my own two cents in this and see exactly where I fall on all of these images we should be seeing because I think that I think we're going to get some good stuff man but anyways guys let's shut up and dive right into it now starting off first guys you got to start off with the elites now I think one thing that we are going to concrete see on display or at least images of is we're probably going to get brand new promo pics now this is all going to be ringside fest at home so we're not going to see like a display where you know it's on display and we're getting photos of the display I, I guarantee it's going to be just like San Diego Comic Con at home where we get hard nice promo packaging images in package images out of the package posing around images and then probably some render shots so Elite 81 is probably the first series that I think we're going to see new promo images for now we have seen obviously we've seen the in package images of all these we've seen the mock images of these guys but I think we're going to see more uh, out of the packaging images I think we've seen some for Shinsuke Nakamura and I think that is it I think uh, Shinsuke is the only one we've seen out of the packaging but I expect to see better photos of Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins, Bianca Belair, uh, Steve Austin and The Rock I expect to see all of those on display so that is something that I definitely expect us to see and uh, I think you can pretty much guarantee that for Elite 81 so Elite 81 we will see loose images of I also expect to see hard concrete photos and brand new images of Elite Series 82. If you guys didn't know what Elite Series 82 is, it is up on your screen. Now you have Finn Balor, John Morrison, Rob Gronkowski, Jerry Lawler, Alexa Bliss, and Keith Lee. Now Keith Lee is the Chase variant in this set. We have not seen what the uh, the regular version is going to be of Keith Lee, but I usually at Ringside Fest they showcase like three or four series. Like they'll have like, I remember one year they had like Elite 55, 6, and 7 I think on display and then like last year I know, I think one year they had like Elite 66, 7, and 8 on display and we got maybe render images of 69 or something I, I it's not coming to me fully but I, I want to say I low-key remember that you guys can help me out down in the comment section below but anyways elite 82 we've only seen render images of it and we have not seen any promo packaging no mock images or anything so we're gonna get a lot of info about these now Finn Balor's the only figure from the set we have not seen we have seen the rest and I think the rest of the wave looks solid you know I like the Alexa Bliss I like the Keith Lee a lot he is the chase variant like I mentioned so I think the regular version is supposed to be in black so we will see what the regular version looks like. Uh, John Morrison returning to the line. I think he's supposed to come with his entrance coat, so it's supposed to be a cloth entrance coat, or at least I hope it is. I think it was uh, confirmed that we are getting his entrance coat. It's just going to depend on if it is actually cloth or not, but John Morrison is confirmed there. You have Jerry Lawler, which I really want to make a Jimmy King out of, which we'll see how that goes. But I don't know, man. I mean, we got we got some pretty good stuff in this wave. You guys already know that Finn Balor, I am waiting on that Finn Balor. I am guessing that it's going to be an updated Finn Balor from 2020, from 2019 team when he went back to NXT, so I'm hoping that is what we get for Finn Balor. Maybe he'll come with the NXT Championship, all of his updated tattoos, nice X attire on there, and that's what I'm hoping for, and hopefully it's a damn good pissed off head sculpt. I, I can't wait, man. I cannot wait to see this Finn Balor, so hopefully they don't let me down, and I expect to see this full wave in, in like promo images. You guys know with the nice white background, well lit, you guys know what the deal is, so hopefully that is what we get for the Finn Balor and the Elite 82. I cannot wait to see that Finn Balor. That's probably the figure I'm most excited to see coming at us at Ringside Fest, and and then the next figures that I'm probably the most excited for is what we're going to get into next, guys, which is going to be Elite Series 83. Now, Elite Series 83 is going to be Dusty Rhodes, Edge, Trash Corbin, Sasha Banks, Drew McIntyre, and I think the last figure in this set is Michael Hayes. I could be wrong about that. I think we've even covered that here on the channel um, in some news videos and some leaked videos that we've had here in the past few weeks. But Elite 83, I also expect to see whether it be promo pack. I, I doubt, I, I just don't see it being uh, promo packaging. Now, we already know the render images of Trash Corbin and Sasha 
Banks. We've seen the Sasha Banks forever now. Remember, it started as a ringside exclusive, and then it changed, and then it changed, and then it changed, and here it is in Elite 83. And then Trash Corbin, we already know what that looks like, so I doubt, I highly doubt we see that thing in, uh, you know, mock images or anything like that, especially this early, but maybe we could get some more render images of uh, the rest of the wave. So Dusty, Ro Dusty Rhodes, Edge, maybe he'll be the, uh, my bro Steinsenberg Customs mentioned that he's probably going to be the Chase variant, and it'll probably be in his greatest wrestling match ever attire, and then his WrestleMania attire. So we'll get the chrome gray attire from the, you guys remember that last man standing match with Randy Orton, and then we'll have the Guns N' Roses-esque attire in the green, black, and red attire. So if we can get all those, because we know that the Ultimate Edition Edge is in the Royal Rumble return gear, hopefully these two will be the, his other matches, and oh dude, I'm so excited for those, and that's definitely my favorite figure in this wave. I cannot wait to see what that looks like, but it is weird that Ringside posted up Elite 83 without any sixth figure, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be Michael Hayes, so maybe they're working on some stuff, or maybe they didn't want to confirm it just yet, but Elite 83, I'm pretty sure, had Michael Hayes as the last one. Unless he was the collector's edition and there's a figure missing somewhere, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think we'll get full render images of Elite 83, and I don't expect any promo shots of those, but next up, guys, let's move on to some other figures that I expect to see. Now, coming forward, after we get all the Elites, I don't think we'll see Elite 84. You guys know that Rhea Ripley is in that set. Kushida was in that set, but he got moved back to Elite 88, so I don't expect to see him in any capacity. Buddy Murphy is probably another figure that we could see. I just don't see Elite 84 being on display. I don't see any new images of any of that. Uh, it just wouldn't make sense on the timeline, you know, because we are we haven't even gotten Elite 81 yet, and I highly doubt we're going to see brand new nice images of 84 and uh, anything beyond that. That just wouldn't make sense to me, so. Um, and they're also not going to just throw us, you know, they're not going to throw everything at us at once, so um, I'm guessing that anything that's going to be available by Christmas is what they're going to show us, because it is coming up the beginning of November. People are going to be getting hyped up for Christmas. This is the perfect time to showcase what's going to be available just before Christmas and coming around the holiday season, and that's what I'm guessing we're going to be getting. So if that were the case, they're only going to show us the next probably two to three Elite Series, and then the next figures we're going to discuss is going to be the Ultimate Editions. Now, you guys know that the next series in this is going to be Hollywood Hulk Hogan and The Fiend, which should be available very, very soon. We know that The Rock and Charlotte both just released, and now The Fiend and Hulk Hogan, it is their time, and I can't wait for these, man. These are going to be absolutely badass. I think this is probably going to be the best-selling Ultimate Edition set probably since Series 1. I feel like Series 4 sold pretty good with HBK and Brock Lesnar. I feel like the Finn Balor and Triple H set sold pretty decent, but this one's probably going to blow them out. I mean, people love The Fiend. You get The Fiend Championship. You got the Hollywood Hulk Hogan finally returning to the line. Hulk Hogan's first figure in a long time. It's coming back with a bang. It's in an attire that everybody wants in their collection, so that's probably going to be one of the most sought-after figures in a long, long time, so that is going to be epic. I think you could put it up there with The Fiend. I know The Fiend was highly sought after, but Hulk Hogan is definitely going to be up there, and uh, again, I, I just I feel like we're definitely going to see these in the flesh. I think we're going to get nice promo package images of these on display with the white background. Very nice images with all the details. I can't wait to see that, and what we might even get promo packages of Edge. Now, I don't know if uh, Edge is uh, I, I'm pretty sure Edge is in the set right after Hulk Hogan and The Fiend, so I guess it would be Series 8 of the Ultimate Editions, and I don't know if we, I don't think we've gotten any confirmation or anything about who's going to be in that set with Edge, so maybe we could get some more images of that, and maybe we'll get a render image of the legend or the uh, current talent that will be in that wave with Edge. Uh, could be like a Seth Rollins, could be like an AJ Styles, could be uh, a Stone Cold Steve Austin, those are just some ones that come off my head, maybe even Undertaker, so that will be interesting to see as well, but uh, that is our Ultimate Editions that I think we'll see any info on those guys. Again, I don't think we'll see any Elite 84. I think the Elites, it'll just be the first two to three sets, 81 through 83, and maybe some more renders of 84, maybe, but if we get any Elite 84 or anything beyond that, it will definitely be render images and not promo package images or, you guys know, promo shots. Next up, guys, I think we'll also get some more images of the WrestleMania Build-A-Figure set. I think that is definitely a possibility. You guys know that we got the mock images of Goldberg, Edge, China, and HBK, but I think it's pretty Pretty possible that we could see some out of the package loose images of these guys and that wouldn't shock me one bit some nice zoomed in headshots uh, we'll get to see that nice Jack's test head sculpt that we're getting on the new Edge WrestleMania figure so that'll be really cool as well um, another uh, set of figures that I think we could possibly see uh, I'd be very shocked I don't think we'll probably get them but I'm just gonna add this in the video anyways I'm thinking maybe Fan Central Series 1 you guys know with Seth Rollins Adam Cole Shayna Baszler and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat we've seen these promo images or these 
render images for a long time now and I just don't see us getting any loose images of these guys just yet because I think they're supposed to hit just after the new year. I guess it's possible but uh, we still got a little ways away so I don't know if we'll get that. Uh, we'll have to see about that. I also think we'll probably see basic series 115, probably basic series 116, stuff like that but I don't know. I, I'm thinking for render images it's going to probably be stuff that is not going to be in until the beginning of next year and since we already have render images of the fan central figures maybe we'll get a render image of the Jeff Hardy that won the poll or the or the ultimate warrior that won the poll that'd be pretty cool to see render images of the Jeff Hardy we're going to be getting that could be a possibility that's releasing next year you guys know that the new ultimate editions that were voted on I think Jeff Hardy and ultimate warrior are a part of a set so maybe that will be some render images we could get maybe we'll get render images of elite 84 and 85 like I mentioned before maybe some new legends that are coming I know that we are supposed to be getting uh, a Vader and then a, a Hulk Hogan in Legend Series 10 so maybe we'll get render images of that because we already know what the other two figures in the set you guys know that we are getting DDP and Brutus the Barber Beefcake you guys know Beefcake is the chase variant in that set maybe we'll get some render images of Vader and Hulk Hogan that are going in that set and then maybe by that time we'll have some render images of uh, of some brand new stuff that we don't even know what's coming but I feel like if they were to show us Elite Series 81 Elite Series 82 Elite Series 83 all the ultimates that are coming you got the render images of Elite 84 85 you got brand new loose images of the Wrestlemania figures you got all that and then you add in maybe the Royal Rumble elites maybe we'll get the Royal Rumble elites you guys know it's what Ultimate Warrior Titus O'Neil Stone Cold Steve Austin and Umaga maybe we'll get render images of those guys as well and we'll probably get some render images of some upcoming basics that we haven't seen just yet but all in all I don't expect to see a ton I feel like at Ringside Fest we never see like a ton of stuff we get a good amount of stuff but I don't feel like we ever get just an absolute you know crap ton of stuff like just unloads and loads of stuff so I don't know man I am definitely excited and we're going to cover all of it here guys so definitely subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications so you guys do not miss an upload because we are going to be going hard on the news and we're going to cover all of it and I'll probably make a new fix-ups video where we take out you know all the new figures upcoming and then I showcase what you guys could do with them when they come in so that maybe we could do that after that but I appreciate you guys checking out what I expect to see from Ringside Fest video I hope you guys did enjoy let me know what you guys expect do you think I'm accurate on all my assessments right here or do you think that I'm missing some stuff or anything like that but before we get out of here guys I do want to give a huge shout out to No Limits Wrestling for this comment on our last video he says somewhere right now John Cena is shedding a tear for our fallen fruity pebbles awesome setup happy Halloween huge shout out to No Limits Wrestling for that I thought that was pretty funny you guys know that the big daddy figure did stab our fruity pebbles box and unfortunately it was deceased so I know John Cena was pretty upset about that but it was a badass setup and I appreciate you guys stopping by for it but anyways guys I'm getting the hell out of here let me know what you think of everything down below about Ringside Fest go check out my boy Unstable 1047 down in the comment section below and check out his uh, predictions and stuff for Ringside Fest. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.